It's Kristen again, coming to you from the St. Mary Ann Cope Shrine and Museum. Today, I wanna to talk a little bit about Mary Ann and the sisters and their first five years on Hawaii. Now, during this time, they were on the main islands. They were on Oahu and Maui. This was the five years prior to the sisters going on to uh, the little peninsula off of Molokai that we call Kalapapa and that was the place of exile for the thousands of patients afflicted with leprosy, now known as Hansen's disease. But these first five years, what the royalty wanted was for the sisters to care for the patients here on the main islands to keep them closer to their families. Hawaiian tradition makes the family the base of everything. When we say it takes a village to raise a child, we can equate that to actual reality for the people of Hawaii. The family unit, the community, the children, they are the heart of their culture. So when the king and queen saw that families were being ripped apart, this was a crucial hardship for them. And Queen Kapiolani, who thought of all of the people of the community being her children, it was heart-wrenching for her to watch them being uh, taken apart and torn from their families. They asked for sisters to come and care for these patients to make sure that they were given everything they possibly could, care-wise, community-wise, family-wise, anything that they could possibly give uh, to try to make up in some way for what was happening. So during these five years, the sisters opened hospitals on the main islands for Hansen's disease patients so that at least they, the families could come, possibly see them, possibly look at them through a fence, possibly have some kind of physical distancing contact with them. They were not alone. Once a patient was sent to Kalapapa, Everybody knew that was that. They would never come back. They would live out their life there as short or long as it was. They would die there and that was it. Uh, at least on the islands, they could feel some sense of home. So Marianne and the sisters did what they do. They created community for these patients. They gave them as much as they could family, caring, love, compassion. They gave them education, clothing. You know, they, they came in and they gave them beds. They gave them the basic necessities so that they could build on that and actually give them some sense of home, possibly even joy, even though they were put in this horrendous situation. So this is something I think we can all take into account during these days. We are distanced from one another. We do have physical distance. We don't have social distance so much because we have so much technology that keeps us in touch. So if we are grateful for what we have and we can take advantage of all of these ways that we can be in touch and we can connect and we can be there for everybody else and we can reach out and we can make sure that our neighbors and our friends and people who are possibly alone, that they have some kind of connection with us, that we can let them know you are not alone, we are here for you. The things that we're seeing done across the US and internationally to show some ingenious ways of showing that we are there for other people are amazing and they are inspiring and they are things that we can all do. 
There's a community who has a coding of things that they put on their windows, these signs and symbols that tell everybody going by and in the community if they are fine, if they need something. And so these people can reach out to them and know that they can help them and they can be there for them or that their neighbor is okay. The way that people are reaching out to the caregivers and clapping and displays of affection through their apartment windows when the shifts are changing, these are things we can all do. We're not alone. We might be physically isolated, but we're not alone. And any way that we can be there for somebody else, I think that's how we're serving. So, another day. Take care of yourselves, be healthy, wash your hands, reach out to someone today. Take care.